Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now in today's video, we've got quite a few things to discuss, including some more details on the brand new police heist, which is known as the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. I'm also going to be showing you guys how you could unlock the Cluck and Bell outfit, as well as some extremely easy money making methods all of you guys have got to be making the most of as of right now. So as always, if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so as I'm sure you guys are aware, in the near future Rockstar Games will be releasing a brand new police mini heist known as the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid which will be introducing a brand new police vehicle known as the gauntlet interceptor now we do know this gauntlet interceptor is going to be setting you guys back over five million dollars and that's before you go ahead and add your own customizations onto it so typically you could spend between half a million and 800k kitting out a car how you guys would like to and i've already made a video going into full detail about all of the unreleased vehicles that rockstar games do plan on releasing in the coming weeks so if i do remember i'll leave a link to that video down low in the comment section however one thing we do know like i said about these unreleased vehicles is that they're not cheap whatsoever now with these cars being so expensive i know you guys are going to be like myself and taking every opportunity you can find to get some very very easy money very very quickly now this week rockstar games added some new money making methods into the game that could be done extremely quickly and earn you guys a ton of money at the same time so if you guys aren't aware this week rockstar games added in a new time trial known as del perro pier which does only have a part time of 1 minute 43 seconds so you might as well go ahead and give it a go to earn some very very quick money now the trick to beat in this week's time trial very very easily in your very first attempt is to go ahead and start the time trial as soon as you guys start the time trial you want to press start and you want to set a waypoint to the finish line so now you guys can go ahead and restart the time trial and you've just got a simple easy clear route to go ahead and follow so you guys don't have to guess what left and right to take as the game actually won't give you guys a waypoint you have to go ahead and do this yourself now if you guys are wondering what is the best vehicle to use during these time trials the best vehicle for me i think is the hakuchu drag if you guys play on the ps5 and the xbox series then go ahead and put the hsw upgrade on it but no worries if you guys still play on ps4 and xbox one then as you guys can see on screen i was able to complete this also on the batty 801 which is one of the cheapest motorbikes in the game and of course for beating this week's brand new time trial you guys are going to be earning a very nice one hundred and one thousand dollars for what you guys can see on screen what literally took me only one minute 30 seconds so it's definitely worth going ahead and doing however if you guys play on the ps5 or xbox series then you guys will know we also have another time trial known as the hsw time trial which is also located down by the beach literally a stone's throw away from the normal time trial and the hsw time trial is called del perro beach and it's actually quicker than the previous time trial that i just showed you as you guys can see on screen it's got a part time of only one minute 21 seconds like i just said with the previous time trial i would definitely suggest going ahead and using the hakuchu drag just so you guys can swerve in and out of cars and traffic very easily this motorbike is way too quick for these time trials as i'm sure you guys are aware by now if you guys go ahead and invest in this motorbike fully upgrade it by just simply completing these time trials for a few weeks you're going to be earning your money back in no time and last week there was offering double money on the time trials so you guys like i said would have earned that very very quickly by buying this motorbike so like i said just simply go ahead and set a waypoint before you guys start the time trial reset it and then you guys will have a clear route to go ahead and follow you can dodge in between the cars very easily as long as you guys are using the hakuchu drag and for completing the hsw time trial you guys are going to be earning a very nice two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so for simply completing both of this week's brand new time trials it'll take you guys under three minutes to do so and you're going to be earning a very nice 350k it's definitely worth doing so this week 
as like I mentioned, the brand new police vehicle, the Gauntlet Interceptor, will be setting you guys back over $5 million. And let me know down below in the comment section if you guys would like to see me upload an insane AFK method that could literally make you guys millions of dollars whilst not even touching your control pad. So if that is something you guys would like to see tomorrow, do be sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below. Now, like I mentioned, we do know that the brand new police mini heist will be involving the Cluck and Bell business, which of course is a fast food restaurant based in the GTA universes. Now, I've already made videos going into full detail about all of the cutscenes from this brand new heist, as well as some of the game files that have been found giving away some of the missions that we're going to be doing. Now we do know, like I said, that the mission will be based around Cluck and Bell as the name of this mini heist will be the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. However, we do also know that during this mini heist, we will have to steal an outfit in order to go undercover to gain some intelligence for the finale mission. Now what's interesting is how you guys actually finish this setup mission will dictate whether the guards are on high alert or just normal when you guys come around to playing the finale mission. One outfit a ton of people have been speculating, which of course does make sense that we will be using during this mission, will be a cluck and bell outfit. So I thought it only made sense. So I went ahead and showed you guys how you could actually go ahead and make a cluck and bell outfit as of right now i know a bunch of you guys are always asking me to put together more outfit videos i did do a bunch during halloween and christmas however like i said with us receiving this new cluck and bell heist i thought it only made sense i went ahead and showed you guys how to get this outfit now there is quite a few different variations of this cluck and bell outfit that you guys can put together so you can put your own little unique touch on it depending what you guys do prefer so the first thing you guys want to do is make your way inside the clothing store go over to the hat section go down to arena war hats and you want to apply the yellow cluck and bell cap you will actually be able to go ahead and unlock this item for free by progressing in the arena war career however if you guys just want to rush through you can just buy it for eight thousand dollars now they do also have a blue version of this cap if you guys do want to go ahead and put together a blue version of this outfit However, once your character's wearing the hat, head over to the top section. You want to go down to Arena War Tops and you want to go down to Nightmare. And then as you guys can see on screen, we can actually get three different versions of Cluck and Bell Tops. So we have the Logo Bomb Hoodie, which you guys can see on screen. We've got the Sweater version, which personally I think looks a lot better and a little more realistic to an outfit. And we've also got a blue version, like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and put together the blue version of the Cluck and bell outfit however for my outfit like i said i'm going to go ahead and use the cluck and bell sweater as i do think it looks the best with this outfit however once your character is wearing the sweater make your way over to the bottom section go down to sports pants and you want to select the yellow striped sweatpants as you guys can see on screen probably some of the cheapest clothing item in the game will only be setting you guys back 85 dollars so once again if you guys are putting together a blue version you can also go ahead and buy blue versions of these joggers also now once you guys are wearing the joggers make your way over to the shoe section you want to go down to the uglies category and as you guys can see on screen we can also get some cluck and bell uglies which really does match up well with this outfit and it is worth mentioning we can also get the socks version if you guys do prefer to go ahead and just add yellow shorts However, for my outfit, I just went ahead and used the yellow cluck and bell uglies. Now, once you guys have done that, you want to make your way up to the accessory section, go down to gloves, and you want to apply the refuse collector gloves, which as you guys can see on screen, do come in these bright yellow colors. And as you guys can see on screen, a pretty cool looking cluck and bell outfit. Now you can actually go ahead and take this to another level. So if you guys make your way over to the mask store in the game, go down to arena war, you can also go ahead and purchase the cluck and bell mask which as you guys can see on screen once added to your character really does match up well with this cluck and bell outfit so like i said there's a few different versions you guys can do with the different clothing items i showed you in this video and let me know down low in the comment section what are you guys looking forward to most with the new drip feed content and if you do want more information on what we are receiving in the coming weeks as far as the new police heist clothing 
new vehicles, new masks, plus much more. I'll leave a link to all of those videos down below in the comment section, along with the full playlist where, like I said, you guys can check out all of my videos. However, that is going to do it for me, guys. As always, if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, and you would like to see me put together more outfits in future videos, all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!